Hey guys, it's Brett and Brian. We're your independent sensing consultants. We're here with a Beetlejuice collection haul. So we got the warmer and we got the bar. Yay. So it's hot in here, I'm sweating. Oh gosh, hot Goldilocks. Our, we have this thermometer that goes automatically, eco-friendly eco crap that I hate and it turns it up to 77. At 1 30 afternoon. Now, who wants their thermostat at 77 degrees at 1 30 afternoon? I don't ever notice it. When it's 90 it degrees, I'm at. sleeping, so I don't ever notice it because I have two fans going. The doors are shut, so it probably stays in the cool in the bedroom, and that's why I don't notice it. Oh. But not for long. Got my hours changed, so I'll be in more videos again. Yeah. I got his hours changed. Finally, Thank been God. Overnight. Seven months of hell. So I feel, glad. I feel like I'm in hell now. Oh boy, hot. All right, so online on our website, it says Beetlejuice Collection. It's showtime. Shop home fragrance products inspired by Beetlejuice. So we're gonna talk about the bar first. It's so, showtime. Yes, and the bar I think is a little wet because it was sitting out on the porch for like three hours. It was delivered, but Brad didn't know it was out there when they left. Him and my mom had to go to a funeral. I wasn't able to go because uh, I worked, but uh, some friends of ours, but so it was sitting on the porch, but it had an ice pack in there, but it was sitting out there for like three hours and mm -hmm. it leaked a little bit onto the, the ice, evening sun, onto the ice pack in there. It's, I've never had that happen. This is the first time I've ever had a bar melt like that, but it was pretty hot out today. It's almost 90. All right. So it's yeah. Beetlejuice at showtime. So it is white jasmine and lavender into with notes of sparkling orange rises from a deep forest fusion. So we have white jasmine, sparkling orange, mm -hmm. and deep forest fusion. Yeah. It smells good. Don't try to smell the bottom. Because oh, it's super man. soft and gooey. Probably should have waited. And our camera is leaning down and it's cutting up our heads. <laughs> I can't get my tripod to work right in the... This is just a shambles video, but we're going to do it. The tripod will not straighten up, so it's kind of leaning a little bit, but that's okay. See Ooh, how it's that. gooey and stuff. Look at that. Oh, it looks kind of creepy. Actually, it looks kind of creepy. It <laughs> kinda looks kind of like um, slime. Put your hand up there. Yeah, it looks kind of like slime. It's all gooey. It looks it's spitting for this bar, actually. <laughs> yeah, it is. It looks kind of spooky. It's green slime. It's all over your hand. Oh, man. So. It smells really good, though. It's so hot, it's hard to tell, but I guess it would be. It's gonna get hot, so that would make sense. Mm -hmm. It would smell this way when it gets warm. Right. Uh, it smell. Oh gosh, I don't. I don't know. There's a sweet tint to it. There is a sweet. I almost said it was kind of gourmandy, but there's no gourmand notes in here. Jasmine. I don't know if I get jasmine. Yeah, I don't think so. There might be a little bit of floral, but not like a regular. Not what you think of floral, and then forest. Maybe God, I wish I could smell the bottom. This is probably isn't gonna be a good review. I might add. I'm probably gonna wait till this cools off and then I'll we'll smell the bottom and then I'll add that onto there because you really get a different note to the bottom. Brad might not be on it because he has to take a nap, but yeah. I'll smell the bottom after it cools off. But I don't want to take it out now because it's too mushy. I gotta work the next four days overnights and then I'm done, so I gotta take a nap. I don't know about sparkling orange. I don't really get orange at all. Mm -mm. I, on the top anyway. I don't know if that's jasmine that's given that sweet smell or what, but it's or if it's part of the orange, because orange kind of has a has a, a sweet smell to it, and orange smell does. Citrus and orange sweet smell, but... I'm getting baker, almost like a little pumpkin. Why smells am I really kind of good. Pumpkin? Why am I getting pumpkin? A little bit, but with like some light floral, maybe some forest greens or something. I don't know. Yeah. It smells good when I'm smelling, but not where I, the notes, I don't really smell what the notes are saying though. What category is that in? Uh, it's in the floral category. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe because it's so hot is why I'm getting some kind of like sweet bakerishness. Yeah, I don't know. It smells really good though. I like the smell of it. We'll see how that is when I, we take it out and smell the bottom. I'll add that on at the end of the video. Uh, so now we will go over the warmer. And the warmer. Show it. You read it. I'll show it. This box is kind of cool looking. Mm -hmm. 
Here lies Beetlejuice as the warmer. And I said in our uh, my video about the warmer, and I was talking about coming out, that it's spelled differently on his grave, and even on the box it says, it's not spelled like the movie Beetlejuice, it's spelled differently, and I still don't know why exactly. Yeah. But it's pronounced the same way, I believe. And I said Beetle Guys in that video, but it's I don't it's not that. It's it's just Beetlejuice. But it's just spelled differently. I think I heard something about Tim Burton oh, wanted cool. they wanted it spelled more friendly for the title of the movie, but that's actually how it was supposed to be spelled. Something like that. Anyway, so and now it's spelled regular raw in the inside. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. And then it says, come on. Say, say it. it a third. Come on, say it. Say it a third time. Say it a time. third time. Here, oh, here lies. It's, it's cute. Let me open it up. And uh, I was saying that I had never seen Beetlejuice, so I finally watched it on uh, Max. And I had to watch it again the other night because I loved it so much. I can't believe I never saw that I was missing out. So now we want to see Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, the sequel. We need to get tickets. Should we buy tickets for Easter Sunday? I don't know. We need to ask Christy. I heard people are already buying their tickets before it opens this weekend. So might need to because it might sell out. Because I don't work Sunday. Saturday is my last time of overnight. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yay. That's cute. So this is this little, uh, well, I'll show you in a minute here. Oh, it's so cool. It is really freaking cool. Oh, and there's another piece. Gotta get the other piece. There's the hole. There it is. Right there. Well, I'll show this before I put it in there. Yeah. So there's this that goes on the back. It's the sandworm. Can you see it? I don't know. It's the sandworm. And it goes in the back. But the warmer because it lights up. It's got a little LED light in the back. Yeah. And then it'll shine through there and then on the wall the sand will, will be illuminated. Yeah. So that's the sand worm on the back. Yeah, that works. That shows a little better. There we go, yeah. Yeah, and then on the back well, let me show the front of the warmer first. There's the front of the warmer. There he is right there. Beetlejuice. And it says, here lies Beetlejuice on the grave. And then there's the grass, just like in the model. In the movie, it had that kind of a fake grass, whatever, that kind mm -hmm. of turfy looking fake grass in the model around his grave. And then the sandworm is around there, the body of it. And then, uh, so in the back, like we were talking about, it has the LED light right there, right here. And it'll shine through and onto this little metal thing that's the sandworm and it'll on the wall behind it the sandworm will be illuminated on the wall behind it and here's the little grave it says beetlejuice beetlejuice and that just goes right there that's your little dish so that hot plate right there will get hot and that's the dish where you put the wax in right there in the grave it's hard to get him done. So we're gonna we're, we're gonna plug it in, but you're not really gonna be able to see here in the light. Probably be able to see a little bit, and then uh, we'll have to show it at the end of the video with the in a darker room, right? Or what, later at night when it gets darker. Three. Oh wait, I'm, I got an idea. Okay, Three. I'm back, y'all. See if my idea works. So we're going to turn it on. So three, two, one. A little bit. A little bit. You can kind of see it. Oh, yeah. So you, you can see it. Yeah. The same I have to wait until it gets really dark. Yeah. I'll show it later when it gets dark. I'll plug it in. It'll probably show up a lot more. But you can see it right there, the sandworm behind yeah. it. And it'll show up on the wall, which will be really cool. Yeah, so like I said, it just shines through there and illuminates on the wall. Around so they can see it. So yeah, and there's the, the grave lights, lights up right there. Here lies Beetlejuice, that lights up right there with the arrow. 
And then there's, there's the light. The light. Yeah, the LED light that shines on to the sandworm. Yeah. All right, our battery died, and then I had to adjust the tripod, so it's probably up a little bit higher than it was. So, don't mind the grocery bags in the background. Went to the grocery store, and I uh, haven't put it away yet. I put away the cold stuff and the freezer stuff. Just haven't put, but the rest of the groceries away. And the wattage. I almost forgot the wattage. I forgot to say the wattage of our Chief's helmet warmer, which was 9 watt, by the way. If you saw that video, I commented in the comments there's a 9 watt warmer for that Chief's helmet warmer. All the NFL Chief, uh, the NFL helmet warmers are all 9 watt. This one is 15 watt, and it's got little on the bottom to it. it has a little rubber feet mm -hmm. right here. And it's four bars, it says on the bottom. Yeah, you can put four bars in there, so. 15 watt, element warmer. Okay. Looks really cool. I didn't read about the warmer, it says, talk about a prized possession, expertly modeled after the ghosts with the most, this warmer is crawling with grave details, fans will love, the name Beetlejuice appears once on the gravestone and twice in the wax dish. Read all three aloud if you dare. When lit, this warmer casts a shadow of a lurking sandworm ready to strike. Pair with the Beetlejuice, it's showtime Sensi Bar to welcome the spooky season with a hauntingly fun fragrance. And it's showtime bar, $7. And the warmer here is, here's Lice Beetlejuice, is $100. But it's a licensed warmer, it's Beetlejuice. It's got the sandworm LED light, all the detail. I think it's, it's worth totally it. well worth yeah. 100 bucks. So uh, if it's in your budget, I don't regret buying this because it's so mm -hmm. cool. It's so cool. Yeah. If you go to like a store somewhere where they make movie stuff, you'd still spend the same amount. It would be pricey or more. Can't find this warmer at Walmart. Nope. All right. That's it. So, like I said, I'll add some footage here at the end of the bar, or the bar, when you do the smith the bottom, and then, uh... When it's dark. Yeah, or I'll take it in the bathroom or something. I'll, I'll figure out something so you can see on the wall the sandworm lit up. Alright, so, and this is currently available, still on our website. I'll put the link to our website in the description box below. So, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye y'all. Alright guys, so I've let the bar, I actually put it in the freezer for a little bit to kind of harden it up a little bit and then I took it out and let it sit out for a little bit after I popped it out the back here to let it cool down from being in the freezer just a little bit. I didn't put it in there for maybe 10-15 minutes. So now I'm smelling it again. It doesn't smell, it smells about the same as it did on the top earlier. I'm getting more of the floral now, so I guess I get more of that white jasmine. That's not overly floral though. Oh, Brad's alarm's going off, sorry. He's taking a nap. Uh, I still get something kind of sweet and bakery-like. I said pumpkin earlier, but I don't think I get pumpkin now, really. But there's something bakery-like in here. A sweet bakery, but let kind of floral, and I still don't know about the orange. It could be in there, but it's not like... When it says sparkling orange, you think real citrusy orange? It's not a real citrus, bright citrusy orange. Maybe a darker orange, like maybe, maybe a bakery orange? I don't know, this is really hard to describe. And then, the deep forest fusion. I mean, can maybe be some greens in there? I don't know, it's, I like it though, it's different. It's not like anything I've smelled before, really. It's like floral, but kind of sweet. Maybe a little green forest, kind of. Not real green, though. Yeah, I'm curious to see what others think of this. Comment below if you've gotten this. And you, what do you get from this? Because this is different for me. I don't quite know how to explain it, but I like it. I like it. So we'll see how it does when it warms. All right, so we're in the bathroom it's still light up but i figured i would just show you the bathroom because we can close the door there's no windows in this hallway half bath so i'm going to close the door and it's going to be black actually let me turn the warm on right okay we're in the dark so three two one that's so cool isn't that yeah. cool guys so i love it and you can see the here lies beetle juice on the front lights up and then the sand worm in the back Up. 
and then depending on how far away you are from the wall, like I have it fairly close to the wall, you can like, the further away you get, the bigger the sandworm gets. Which is really cool. Yeah, because I have it a little further away now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I can't go any further back. <laughs> But, you know, when you have it, it's a little bit clearer, when you have it closer, the detail is a little bit clearer, right? That's about a good area right there. Yeah. yeah. Looks really cool. So I probably, I would probably put it in an area that's not real bright, so you could turn it on, you could see that on the wall area behind it. Because you have it in a real bright area, with a lot of lamps or whatever, it's not going to show up as well. So I would put it in a dimmer area. Of course, at night it'll look even better. Mm -hmm. Love it.